Good morning everyone. So I am... <laughs> Why does that happen as soon as I start talking? Somebody else obviously hears me talking in the other room and starts talking. Um, good morning everyone. I have just done my miracle morning. So we do this every morning at six o'clock um, where um, anybody is welcome to join us. So if you um, ever feel inspired to do one, pop me a message and I'll send you the link. You are more than welcome. Um, and um, and we had a wonderful one this morning and it's talking about Mel Robbins. So I'll happily um, put in a link about Mel Robbins and the five second rule if you haven't heard of it. But what I want to talk to you about today is actually one that I did. I hosted one um, a few days ago. And I was talking about a topic of um, overwhelm, I guess, and spinning lots of plates um, and evaluating the plates you're, you're spinning um, so that then you can feel the fear of whatever it is that you need to do to change things um, and then do it anyway. So um, one of the things that I found a lot over the last um, year really with lockdown is that I have noticed how many plates I am actually spinning and I've tried to really listen to myself as to why why do I why do I do it to myself why do I keep on taking on more plates more plates more plates and spinning 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 um, and really like deep down my core wound was that um, when you're thinking about the five love languages, and if you haven't heard of it, look it up. Um, but it's, uh, it's it's basically a way of describing how we feel love ourselves. And one of them is like physical touch, words of affirmation is another. Um, and one of the things that I got from spinning all these plates was people saying to me, wow, Michelle, wow, you do so much. Like, how do you do it all? And this was filling a bit of a void for me because it was basically filling me up with words of affirmation. So with what I was taking as love, you know, and like people, and it was feeding my ego. So I would just so want to do more and more and more because if the more I did, the, the more people went, wow, you do so much. And this was like feeding me. But I kind of stopped over the last few months and realised how incredibly unhealthy it was. Because I have so much to give and so much potential, yet I'm spinning all these plates so, and I'm trying to juggle so much that I can't really, really give my full heart and soul into certain things. So... Journal point for you if you would like to do this and feel free to um, pause the video, start your journal points and then play again to find out what the next one is. So the first journal point is, I would like you to write down all of the plates that you are spinning. Now when you're thinking about the plates that you're spinning, I'm not just talking about your job. Definitely put everything about your job in there, maybe about your sideline hustle, your business, um, all of the things that you're, you're juggling within that. But I'm also talking about things that you juggle with everyday life. So how much are you juggling your, you know, your household, your, your childcare, your cooking, your cleaning, the food shop, the dog walk, um, organising to pay bills, to pay for extra things. So one of the things that I found is that I pay, I have, I, I seek quite a lot of different people's help because I'm he, I'm here a lot on my own with my daughter whilst my husband's away. And so I have to feel like um, in order to keep my job and my businesses running, I have to seek lots of um, different people's help um, to help me manage some of the, the things in my house with my dog and with my childcare. But that meant that I had to coordinate with each of those people and then also um, coordinate timings with them, coordinate payments with them. And it was different every day. And all of these things is, is, can be quite a lot on your brain, constantly ticking over of the things that you need to think about. So write them all down. 
everything that you think of and it's really therapeutic sometimes just to write it all down so please feel free to pause the video and write those down um, and then I'll talk to you about point two so now you've looked at your list I want you to put it to one side for a minute and then I want you to dream up your ideal life. Now I've been doing this for quite some time and it's basically like um, thinking about the, the books that I've read which has included like The Secret or The Power and it's basically about the law of attraction and um, what you reaffirm um, in your mind as to the reality that you want to live. If you keep telling yourself that that is it is the reality, you will attract it. And so this is an exercise that will probably take you several um, days, months, years to affirm and find out what you really want. And it will keep changing and that's absolutely fine. But whenever you can, just think, you know, if I was to dream up my perfect day, and maybe let's just start with your perfect day. So just start with your perfect day today. If you were to dream up your perfect day, what would it involve? You know, would it be, yeah, it would be dropping the kids off at school maybe, but it would be doing it so much more in my terms where I wouldn't be, a, wouldn't have to um, rush out the door. Um, I would have feel like I had an abundance amount of time in the mornings and because and, uh, I want the, the pleasure of dropping them off without the stress of having to get somewhere or get to work afterwards. Or maybe you would say, do you know what actually, drop offs, not my thing, find it too much, but pick ups, love that moment when you pick them up. I, I don't like leaving them, but I love the moment when you pick them up. So arrange your day so that you can then pick them up or maybe don't send them at all. Maybe you want to spend the day with them. So for me, this was a bit of a barrier at the moment. That's why I'm, I'm using that example. But perhaps it will be something different for you. Perhaps it will be your work or maybe it'll be going to the gym. I've just, I've just got myself David Lloyd membership for the spa. I'm not even joking, guys. I haven't even got it for um, the gym. Because if I wanted it just for the gym, I would use a gym that's literally two minutes from my house, which I could walk to. Um, I've used it for the whole package and the whole experience. So I wanted to create a bit more relaxation in my life, a bit more fun and a bit more community. So I'm gonna take Arabella there later today and we're gonna go swimming, we're gonna go to soft play um, and, there's, and it's Sunday so there isn't any crash today but if there was crash, I would use that time to either go to the, um, I'm gonna say go to a class, maybe go to a yoga class because at the moment that's what's linking to me and, and believe me, I've been the person doing the hit classes and doing the spinning classes and getting a sweat on right now where I am right now that that's not what I need to, to nurture me however if I'm brutally honest I probably would just go to the spa for 45 minutes but there we go so what would your day look like you know and, and don't think about why you can't do it just think about no no barriers what would it look like if you could so dream your perfect day and then you can keep dreaming and keep journaling and I have a journal and um, since lockdown, I've really started to journal, and I love it. I just, um, I just feel it. Some, some weeks I'm just not in the the mindset to journal, and then other weeks I'm, I'm going for it, and I'm journaling loads. And however it it works for you, just have a scrapbook that you just write your ideas in. And so that's exercise two. So feel free to pause it. We're going to go back um, in a second to exercise one for exercise three. So if that didn't make sense. Exercise three, I want you now to look at your list of things that you are juggling, okay, with exercise one. And I want you to look at the list of all the things that you do and think about what fills your cup, what increases your energy, what do you love um, with those things that you do. So um, before lockdown, I used to do um, like amateur dramatics every so often and I hadn't done it for years and I felt my mood had really gone down and I thought do you know what it's hard work doing a little panto of some description but it's just it's not work for me and it's so much fun and I giggle like a proper belly laugh and I'm not gonna lie guys I I really haven't been belly laughing and just being silly and playful for so long and it's it's really sad, but I love playing, and my daughter has taught me so much how I love playing, um, and how I just 
I just I just love being silly and having my inner child and I can talk to you about my inner child another day but but we've all got an inner child in us just that like that and then you can think about how old your inner child is my mine is about 11 years old and my inner child loves to be silly loves to play loves to um act and sing um and loves to ski I love to be in the mountains I love to be bouncing through the snow and like just following my dad that's my inner child following my dad through the snow and just bouncing and being absolutely silly so what on your list fills your cup um, and what on your list empties your cup what gives you energy up and what brings you energy down and put a little arrow if it's currently bringing it up and put a little arrow down if it's currently bringing it down if it's not really doing either and it's just a task that needs to be done and you don't really feel like it zaps your energy but it's just and it's then just put a just just shit bust it needs to be done then I want you to think about what you can delegate what can you get rid of um, uh, what do you what do you actually not need to do um, what can you ask somebody else to help you with um, whether that's a partner whether that's your children whether that's your family whether that's employed help like how can you start to create get rid of some of the down arrows or get them to create them into up arrows um, so just spend a few minutes just just really thinking about that now um, so feel free again to pause and then I want you just to now that you've had the opportunity to really reflect go back to your um, your dream life and just think about how you can how can you make that happen because we can make it happen and sometimes it means that we really have to feel the fear we really have to look into what's holding us back um, and sometimes on paper it's it may be the thing that is really the sensible thing but something in your heart and your gut is telling you that it, it's it's not right and it's it's the thing that drains you and it doesn't light you up and doesn't give you energy so what would it be like if you if you actually just got rid of it and you filled your life with your passion or your dream could you do that because if it's fear that's holding you back i challenge you to feel the fear and do it anyway because there's a book that's called feel the fear and do it and um, do it anyway and um and she talks about you know what holds you back is a fear of what if this happens but okay but what if that happens well if it happens i'll handle it you know if i um you know one of my fears okay so if, if i um don't have enough money what will i do i don't know i don't know but i'll handle it you know if i um if i'm on my own what will happen? Oh, well, actually, lockdowns have kind of proven that, you know, <laughs> I'll handle it. It won't be easy, might be hard, but I'll handle it. So all those things, all those fears that are holding you back, I just want you to, to talk to yourself about them and go, yeah, but I'll handle it. It's okay, I've got myself, I'll handle it. I've spoken for so long this morning. Um, I hope that you've found that helpful and um, please do comment in the comments below if you wish to let me know how you're feeling. Um, and every Miracle Morning is different, guys, but if you ever want to join us for a Miracle Morning, um, please message me. You are more than welcome. We do a little bit of meditation in the mornings. Then we do um, some journaling, some affirmations, and if you haven't heard of, heard of affirmations, um, like again, look them up on YouTube. They're really, really powerful. I found them really difficult at the beginning, but they're really powerful. We do some gratitudes, um, and then we sometimes we play like a, a fun song at the end 
and that's inspiring and I'm not gonna lie my song was frozen let it go <laughs> um because I've listened to that a lot with Arabella and I've really started to think about the difference in the meaning of the song recently and then we do a little bit of personal development reading so um I can talk you through some of the books I'm reading I've kind of mentioned a few of them today but we, we read something inspiring that, that inspires us to develop ourselves um so I hope that helps and I'll speak to you soon bye